Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Amino and I wanted to tell you again about their new story feature since so many of you follow me on Vegan Amino. There's so many amazing vegan recipes and recommendations on there and I've actually partnered with Amino myself to share my own stories, my most recent one being some of my current food favourites and I've also shared a what's in my fridge story there too. Click the link in the description or the pinned YouTube comment below or search for Amino apps to download Amino, then find my stories by searching Jess B. Titian. Follow me, then come over and watch my stories. Also, don't forget to tap the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. So, on to what I ate one day recently. For breakfast on this day, I made some tahini granola. For this, I placed half a cup of mixed nuts and seeds in a bowl. This was chopped pecans, cashews, chia seeds and coconut chips. I then added in a quarter of a cup of oats, one tablespoon of melted coconut oil, a tablespoon of tahini, a tablespoon of coconut merchant's coconut vegan honey, one teaspoon of coconut sugar and a pinch of salt. I just stirred that all through until it was well combined. I then transferred it all over to a flat pan on a medium heat and just kept turning it over for around 10 minutes until it was nicely toasted and had turned golden. I then just let it cool down and meanwhile I added some coconut yogurt to a bowl and then once it was cool I placed the tahini granola in the bowl, stirred it through the yogurt a little and then placed some fresh raspberries on top and drizzled on a little more tahini. I tend to just toast my granola in the pan now when I make a single portion and if I want to save on time as well it's really good for that but you could definitely bake this in the oven as well. I was going through my cupboard looking for things that I could throw into my granola and I thought I'd give tahini a try instead of nut butter for a change. If you don't know what tahini is it's basically blended sesame seeds and it actually works so well in this it gives it such a lovely flavour and with the yogurt and the fresh raspberries as well it was such a lovely light breakfast. Then for lunch I had avocado toast with a chilli mint and lemon edamame salad. I had a portion of edamame beans which I just rinsed and placed in a pan with a little oil to fry them off for a few minutes. Meanwhile I minced a clove of garlic, then chopped a spring onion, a small red chilli and a bunch of fresh mint. I then added the cooked edamame to a bowl along with the garlic, spring onion, chilli and mint. I also drizzled in some olive oil and coconut merchant's coconut vinegar, which is like a lovely sweet vinegar. I squeezed in the juice of half a lemon, then seasoned it with some salt and black pepper. I then just stirred all that through really well. I put two slices of rye bread in the toaster to toast and then once those were done, I mashed half a small avocado on each slice of toast. I then just put the chili mint and lemon edamame salad on top and then added some fresh salad leaves on top of that. I like to think of this as a summery beans on toast almost. Instead of the edamame, this could also work with broad beans. You could use lime juice instead of the lemon juice. You could use different herbs. And instead of the avocado on toast, you could use hummus. Whatever you like, there's a few different ways that you could make this. I just think using edamame is something a little bit different and it worked really nicely for this. Later on in the afternoon, I had some of these Tesco Free From Popped Sour Cream and Onion Potato Chips. I thought I'd pick up some of these to try. It comes as a pack of four and then there's two packs of the sour cream and also two packs of salt and vinegar. The sour cream weren't as good as I was expecting. They're good, but they could do with a little bit more flavor. But the salt and vinegar ones are a wow. <laughs> They're really tasty. So that was my only snack. Lunch was pretty filling and then I just went through to dinner.
And so then for dinner I made some Mr. Organic Tortellini with a two lentil ragu. I started by adding a tablespoon of oil to a medium pan on a medium heat. I then roughly chopped one white onion and added that into the pan. I next minced three cloves of garlic, added those to the pan as well, then cooked everything down until soft. I also peeled and finely chopped two small carrots. I added that to the pan next and again just let it soften. I then added in a tablespoon of tomato puree, a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs, a teaspoon of paprika and a bay leaf. I stirred that through the onion, garlic and carrot and just cooked it off for a few minutes. After a couple of minutes, I added in two cups of passata with basil, one and a half cups of vegetable stock, I added in a good splash of vegan Worcester sauce, this was around a tablespoon, then added in half a cup of rinsed red lentils and half a cup of rinsed pre-lentils along with a teaspoon of coconut sugar and then I seasoned it with some salt and black pepper. I gave it all a really good stir together then left it to simmer on a gentle heat for around 20 minutes. In the last 10 minutes I filled a large pan with boiling water. Then I took a pack of the Mr. Organic egg-free vegetable tortellini, which is vegan. This is stuffed with carrot, leek, onion, celery, and spinach. And I added that into the pan of boiling water and just let it cook through until it was done. Takes around 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I turned the heat off the ragu, added in a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and also a small bunch of fresh basil and parsley, then stirred it through. Once the tortellini was done, I drained it and rinsed it off. Then I added the ragu into it a spoonful at a time. I just carefully turned that all through and then I plated it up between our two pasta bowls. I then pick some fresh basil leaves. I put some yogurt on top of the pasta because you know me, yogurt goes on everything. Then I finish by adding on the fresh basil. I shared a recipe not too long ago with the porcini mushroom tortellini from Mr. Organic and the vegetable one is just as delicious. I'm still so excited about the fact that there's a vegan tortellini on the market and it tastes no different to any vegetarian tortellini I remember eating. These are so good for a quick and easy dinner. I also love it in soups and salads too. This vegetable one was lovely with the lentil ragu. There was loads of flavor and I just love a good lentil ragu with any kind of pasta. I had a vanilla dessert and berries afterwards. This is just one of the Alpro Heavenly Velvety Vanilla Dessert Pots. These are so good. They're literally like little pots of custard and custard is one of my favorite things. I just put one of those pots in a bowl and then added a big handful of fresh berries on top. These were blueberries, raspberry, strawberries and blackberries. Honestly, this is one of my favorite go-to snacks or desserts at the moment. It is just like eating cold custard and fruit. It's so good. And that is it for another day on my plate. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Amino and find me over there. There's a link in the description box below this video. All of the recipes are written down there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.